Hi, how, how are you? Are you? <laughs> where, are you, where are you off to this morning? Uh, we're off to a soft wash show. We just wrapped up prepping the truck. Awesome, awesome. So seven years ago, you started South Shore Soft Wash as a part part time on weekends. What were you doing at the time? And I did, I did. Yes, uh, at the time I was uh, still employed with the Department of Homeland Security. I was about six years out from my planned retirement date, and I knew that I wanted to do something after that. Mm -hmm. uh, so my so-called retirement is actually working on a soft wash truck. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. So uh, when crisis happens, we respond with either fear mm -hmm. or faith in action. What, right. what was your first thought when COVID happened, hit? Well, when it started to roll out, the first thoughts were of my family, my children. I have a daughter that's in England, a son down in New Jersey at grad school, and a young daughter here. So of course, it was the steps needed to take care of them and what we needed to do to protect ourselves. And the second thought I would say would be for my sister and niece, they're both nurses. Uh, and my daughter, uh, Veronica, is actually working at a daycare that's designated for first responders. So I think that the, all three of them are very honorable for doing what they do. Yeah. And how about your business? How did you pivot and position your business or what? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, one of the things that I did was attend training and get certification through soft wash systems. The soft wash rig that I have is actually a big bulk sanitation disinfecting rig. Always has been, is now, and it will be in the future because of the solutions that I use are actually part of the recommend, recommended list of the CDC and WHO. So if you look over here, the one thing I did was I became certified through soft wash systems for, ex, for exterior sanitation methods and processes mm -hmm. according to the recommended recommendations of the CDC. Awesome. So as we know, customer experience is becoming more and more important for small businesses. Right. What do you do to help small businesses or to uh, for your customer experience? Sure. Um, I think everyone has had bad experience with contractors showing up on the job. So I treat uh, our customers' homes like it's our own and that the customer is not only just a customer, but someone that we want to turn into a client for a long-term relationship professionally to make sure that we're always there for their services. When we first arrive, we walk around the property and discuss the project with the customer. We see what needs to be moved away to protect their property, their plants. Uh, we discuss our cleaning methods and processes, and we answer all the questions that they may have. And we want to make sure that they're as comfortable with us on the job as we are confident that we're going to do a good job for them. Awesome, awesome. So I hear you are the winner of the Small Business Award. I am, And yes. I hear your associate here has is, is, uh, got your plaque there. Look at that, this awesome. Is, this is Alex, my assistant tech. Oh, Hello. nice. Can you put it upright so we can see? There we go, awesome. So lightning round, what's your favorite movie? Ooh, that's a good good question too. I would say the top two are Gladiator and Braveheart. Last book you read? Uh, Failure to Implement. It's a business coaching book uh, written by Howard Partridge. Awesome. Morning, noon, or night? Uh, I'd say I'm a morning guy. I wake up automatically at 5 a.m. with energy, getting ready to roll and, and accomplish what I need to do for the day. All right. And greatest inspiration? Uh, my children, obviously, and uh, the inspiration of faith and working hard to attain my goals. Awesome. And what advice would you give uh, an entrepreneur just starting out? Mm. Well, let's see. Everyone has a dream. Yeah. If you don't have a plan for the dream, it's only a wish. So have your dream, whether they're big or small, develop your plan, and then make sure that you implement that plan along the way to attain your goal. A lot of people have a plan, but then they don't implement. Awesome. Thank you so much. Well, congratulations on the Metro South Small Business of the Year Award. Oh, thank you so much. It's an honor.